morning, everyone. Good morning. Tomorrow, all over the nation, families will take time to recognize and appreciate one of the most influential groups of people around, our mothers. And I want to uh, take this time and wish all mothers here today a happy Mother's Day. This morning, I want us to take a look at, at another mother. Mary, the chosen mother of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's begin by reading Luke 1, uh, verses 26 through 38. Uh, it, <clears throat> excuse me. In my Bible, the subtitle is The Birth of Jesus Foretold. Verse 26. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to marry a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How would this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow, overshadow you. The Holy One will be born, the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to be barren is in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. Now, in verse 28, Gabriel told Mary that she was highly favored. And in verse 30, he told her she had found favor with God. Now, I looked up the word favored. And one of its meanings is thought of with great kindness or partiality, preferred above all others, and treated with partiality. I also looked up the word highly, and one of its meanings is treated with extreme appreciation or praise. Now, what was it about Mary that caught God's eye? Well, we are not given the answer to this question directly, but there are answers in the scriptures in the accounts of Mary. Well, and I want to take some time and ponder with you a few of the qualities that Mary possessed to make her highly favored with God. Now, I'm sure Mary had many qualities that made her highly favored with God, but I want to look at three of her qualities that I believe contributed to her favor with God. The first one is, her unconditional surrender to God's will. The second is her prior relationship and knowledge of God. And the third one is her faith and trust in God. Now the first recorded words of Mary were with the angel Gabriel, when she asked him, how would this be since I'm a virgin? Gabriel explained it to her, and we see her response in verse 38, when she said, I am the Lord's servant, may it be to me as you have said. A quality here that we see in Mary was her unconditional surrender to God's will, to the, own, to the unknown future that God had planned for her. In verse 38, it seems to be that Gabriel was waiting for Mary's response. Do you think she could have refused? She could have said, but Joseph will leave me or I will be ostracized by family or community. And she might say, well, I will be stoned to death. 
but her very nature is seen so beautifully in her response to, to Gabriel. Mary did not raise any objections. She did not ask for any assurance that she would be safe. She was willing to surrender to God, even if those bad things did happen to her. Mary called herself the bond servant of the Lord, and she acted like it. In Luke 1, uh, verses 46 through 55, Mary's song is recorded. In it, she tells how she rejoices and is blessed by what God is doing in her life. And you know, without hesitation, Mary accepted what God had planned for her and surrendered to his will. In order for Mary to be so, so accepting and surrender to God so unconditionally, she must have had a prior relationship with him and she must have had previous, previous knowledge of who God was and is. I'm sure that as Mary grew up, she was taught about God's promises for Israel and she believed what she was taught. She had read previously that Moses, Isaiah, and Michael all had written about the Messiah. So she undoubtedly was very familiar with and believed the teachings of the Old Testament. And she must have studied and meditated on the scriptures regularly. Again, Mary's song uh, in Luke 1, 46 to 56 shows her understanding God's past work in Israel, shows her understanding of God's character, shows her understanding of his care for the humble, his holiness, and his might, and his grace that he extended to all Israel and to Mary herself. It probably was hard for Mary to believe that she was the one chosen to be our Savior's mother. But Mary's answer shows profound belief and trust in God. And she wholeheartedly believed what Gabriel told her. Yes, Mary knew the word. And she went beyond that and was one who enthusiastically and unashamedly praised her God. What is it that we learn from Mary? Well, she had the knowledge of God and his promise, and she believed it. And I believe Mary's knowledge of God and her relationship with him equipped her with the faith she needed to accept God's will for her to become our Savior's mother. Looking at Mary's story, her unconditional surrender to God, and her prior relationship and knowledge of God, we see a picture in the scriptures that infer the type of mother she would be. God was looking for a woman to raise his son. The love and caring of a mother starts before pregnancy. In Mary, at her young age, I, I believe her faith started, uh, start, uh, uh, Mary's faith started in God to accomplish what he would do for her and when she was uh, met with the angel Gabriel. Mary had an inner beauty that impressed God. Her inner beauty was so powerful that she was chosen to become our Savior's mother. That inner beauty that impressed God and should inspire us today was Mary's faith in God. When the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary, she must have already exhibited an extraordinary faith in God because he chose her to be the mother of his son. Mary had qualities of character that God was seeking. I am sure she had the highest standard of personal behavior, faith, and devotion to God and his way of life. Mary accepted God's will for her to become Jesus' mother, even knowing that if she was found pregnant before marriage, she couldn't be stoned to death. Her answer is an inspiration to us all, and it reflected unconditional faith and complete trust in God. Mary was a woman of faith. She had faith that somehow God would take care of her in her pregnancy, in the birth of her child, and throughout her life. She had, she had faith that God's will will be done. Now what can we learn from Mary? Well, she teaches us that in order to be willing to accept God's plan for our lives, we must submit to his will unconditionally, 
We must have a relationship with him, and we must have faith and trust in God that he will do what he says. Amen? Amen. 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 Just thank you for all the mothers around us, and just thank you for the examples that we have in the Bible of good mothers like Mary. Um, Lord, we just pray that that you would give us those qualities like Mary did, who submitted to your will, even when it seems difficult or troubling when she first heard um the message, but you gave her the perseverance to just continue on in the faith and the submission, Lord, and we just pray that we would be like that. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So in response to these devotionals, um, there's usually a song, but rather than playing a song, um, what we decided to do is have a video that has a song in it, and these videos, they're chosen to to just match uh, the message and the example of the mothers in the Bible. So this first one is, as was mentioned, Mary's song, um, except the modern rendition of it, with um, scenes from the Nativity story. <laughs> 